economic forces aren't the only thing that can force a business owner to make a difficult decision. Well, sometimes it seems the world just moves on, which may be the case with a classic ballroom in Waconia. After 74 years in business, the owners of the Lakeside Ballroom are ready to give it one more weekend and then lock the doors. Here's Carol Evans' Boyd Hooper. Seasons change. Sometimes we like it. It will be very hard. Sometimes, like the Wagner family, we are torn. When they first brought the auctioneer posters here with all the, of our stuff for sale on it, that's when it kind of hits you that, geez, it's actually an black and white, you know, that, that it is going to be the end. Rick Wagner, his sister Patty, and Mother Toots have spent the better part of their lives running the Waconia Lakeside Ballroom. It's one of the last places in Carver County where you can have a banquet for 300 people. Home to generations of sportsmen's banquets and wedding dances. Their grandchildren, their children, and you know, the parents, we had all their weddings, and now it's like, where's the great-grandchildren gonna get married? Sunday night, a 74-year tradition will end. You know, you can look at them, they all have a smile on their face. The dancing that started in the old Paradise Ballroom survived a fire, the move to a new building, and the death of Toots' husband, Elmer, will finally be done. Rather than customers, it's more like friends. Done with one final Sunday afternoon polka dance before the Wagners turn the building over to Carver County, which purchased the ballroom with plans to tear it down for a regional park. Your customers that you have on Sunday afternoons are, or you feel like they're your best friends and part of you and that because it'll be the same ones coming every week. Toots hopes they find someplace else to dance. Seasons change. But somehow, she prays, the music will go on. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Waconia.